Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Puerto Rico, le amo. Que si de ocean. Le amo a usted. Esta isla me salvó. La naturaleza está cabrón. <laughs> so we back. This is, uh, I don't even know what day it is, shit. July update. We gotta do July update. I kind of want to talk about that internal struggle, that 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 fight we have with ourselves every single day of like what you should be doing, things that you didn't do, getting mad at yourself for shit, getting mad at other people, the fear, the greed, all the emotions that happen on a daily basis that we either fight or accept. It's it's stressful, you know? I know a lot of y'all out there are probably feeling the same way. Especially considering how much noise there is out there in the world that we can see and we consume every single second of every single day. It is stressful. It is stressful. Por eso tú necesita... Right? I mean, minus a couple mosquitoes, you know. Yeah, so July, I mean, I was traveling, I'm still, was still in Orlando, trading from a laptop, couldn't really do much. I'm still shorting everything, you know, and I know, I know, I get it, I get it. Just buy and you'll be all right. Just keep buying. I just can't buy AMD at 86. I can't buy Amazon at $3,300. I can't buy Tesla at 1500 bucks. I just can't do it. I can't buy Shopify. I, I can't buy Chipotle. It, I can't do it. Just can't do it. Not going to do it. <laughs> so my whole year, more or less, has been going for the short, coming up short, no pun intended, and then having to make the money back. That's That's my whole trading for 2020. You know? Which is a sharp change from 2019 for me. 2019 was just mostly selling options. Mostly just selling options, selling easy shit. Making 50 a week, 20, 50 a week. And not really trading as aggressively, you know? But I want the short. I'm going to go for the short. That's it. I'm committed. You know what I mean? And maybe it won't happen until October. Maybe it won't happen until next year. Who knows? And maybe I'm stupid for making the decision, but it's a choice, and I can make it. <laughs> Some other shit I got going on is um, I built a new chat room, right? So previously we were we we're kind of under contract from this third-party group, and I was like, okay, we gotta we gotta own our shit, right? So develop this whole new thing, and come to find out, of course, the developers came in over budget. Had to shell out a lot more money for that. Uh, the hemp farm down in Puerto Rico, they needed, needed a little bit more cash. You know, you could get upset about these things. You could definitely get upset about these things. And you will. You will. You will get upset about these things. Because it's about money, right? We're traders. Every dollar we count. Because it defines us, right? <laughs> Which we could argue is complete bullshit. You know, but again, that's a whole other story. So, you could choose to get mad. You could choose to get upset about it. Or, yo, you could realize, like, 
doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to make it. <laughs> and it's going to come back. So check out these numbers. And good luck to y'all. All right, folks, this is the uh, numbers portion of the uh, the update. Uh, we, I actually don't have a camera because I probably lost it somewhere in Boston. Uh, I'm back in Puerto Rico. Um, so let's just wrap up uh, this video. As you can see, took a took a decent loss um, for July. Um, these numbers, there was a $100,000 withdrawal right here. So the number is negative 212. Um, and again, you can kind of see the same pattern. Uh, for If you go back in the last three months, you can kind of see the same pattern. I go for the short, I get smoked, <laughs> and then I make it all back, uh, you know, and then I'm just kind of dancing around. So even if I'm down, let's say 100 or 200, um, you know, I can handle it. At one point here, I was probably down about half a million even uh, during the month. Um, you know, and I think the takeaway for me is, that I can go for these moves that I want and I'm and I'm scouting for. And even if I miss, which I'm going to miss, and even if I miss with size, I can still come back, you know, and that's what's super important uh, for me. Now, the flip side of it, you can look at this and be like, well, why the fuck is he continuing to go for the short, putting himself in these situations when he could just, you know, let that go? And slowly scrape, scrape money, um, you know, short, shorting puts or, or doing whatever. And to that, I'll always say, you know, the mind is a, it's a complicated thing. There's a goal or there's a particular thing that I'm after. And there's one thing that I can't do or I can't force myself to do, which is go long some of these names all the way up here, even despite looking at them continuing to go higher. Uh, you know, AMD in the 60s, that breakout from 50 and change all the way up to, you know, 90. It's a clean move, you know. A lot of these, these, these moves, too, were really clean. So that's the, that's the real question. Why can't the person just step aside from, from what he's kind of being stubborn against um, and do what he knows and continue to make money? Um, to be honest, at the moment, I don't have a great answer for that question. So drop in the comments, uh, you know, if you if you do the same thing to yourself kind of thing. Um, pretty soon, sooner or later, you kind of get over it. Now, the other problem is, is that if you continue to go after a move and you continue to get, let's say, frustrated, most people who are in this situation, you continue to take losses, losses kind of pile up, and then when the move actually happened, you never make it back. And that's the real real issue for most traders really trying to level up and, 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 uh, and get to the next level and uh, all I can say to help you with that is you know work on your mind work on your mind that's the best advice I can give you so again uh, down a couple hundred for the month of July and uh, I'm still looking for the short still looking for the short after first couple of weeks here in August you know might not be that far away who knows we're already at all-time highs or close to um, and they keep the market up no matter what. So who knows what will happen uh, from here to the end of the year.